Columbine. Virginia Tech. Tucson. Aurora. Fort Hood. Oak Creek. Newtown. 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 How many more? founding fathers of our glorious nation, that each man and man-child should retain forever his right to bear arms and protect himself and his family. Patrick, dear fellow, all I can do is agree, but what if these people from the future have seen something that we never foresaw about our glorious nation. What if in the future, firearms, instead of protecting us, have become a hindrance to the glorious nation and made it unsafe, even for small children in schools? George, people kill people, not firearms. If those people who do right do not protect themselves by arming themselves, then those people who do wrong will kill and enslave them. Calm, calm, my friend. No reason to get agitated. Listen, these people are telling us about guns that repeat themselves in firing as quickly as you can pull the trigger. Or even other guns that are what they call fully automatic, and you just pull the trigger once, and it keeps repeating. Could this be outside of the realm of our understanding when we framed the Second Amendment to the Constitution? Perhaps there's a need for a modicum of, of reasoning when it comes to this unlimited and unfettered access to firearms that we thought would be appropriate in our time. I insist, George. You must understand. People kill people, not firearms. Under no circumstance must firearms be taken from the people. You, my friend, are a crazed maniac, and I think I've heard enough. 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 Enough.